new and disgusting images. Poppy's never been a foreign correspondent, so she may not know, but let me explain, because I have been. War is hell. Hamas purposely dresses their fighters in civilian clothes. In and of itself, that means they give up their Geneva protections. It's well documented by the IDF. This is video from a Hamas helmet cam that the IDF captured. They, as you can see, the Hamas fighters are not wearing anything to identify them as members of Hamas. And in the past, suicide bombers pretended to surrender and then blew themselves up, killing Israelis. Hence, the IDF makes military-aged men in areas where civilians evacuated from weeks ago to strip to their underwear when they surrender. There is zero evidence they were beaten or abused, zero evidence that they were in any way subject to torture or subject to any of the kinds of issues or humiliation that the hostages were when they were paraded in the streets, beaten and abused. What Hamas did with civilian hostages versus what Israel does with prisoners of war. These are prisoners of war. They were treated like prisoners of war. And for some reason, CNN finds it disgusting. With us now, KT McFarland, Deputy National Security Advisor in the Trump administration. KT, it's good to see you. Um, at some point, I feel like we go beyond double standard just to the point that the, the, the Israelis in the, in the minds of the media and perhaps even in the Biden administration's mind can't do anything right. Yeah, it's absolutely. And this is the narrative. You know, what about if we say that a good percentage of those people who had their hands tied behind their backs and they were kneeling were, in fact, Hamas terrorists and Hamas fighters? Is that OK? I mean, is, is somehow the mainstream media, the Biden administration saying, well, you know, we have to really protect the rights of the Hamas terrorists who are killing and murdering Israelis? You know, war is hell. And this particularly this this kind of war is hell because Hamas doesn't just murder Israelis and Jews. They don't just hide behind their own citizens as human shields. They want their own citizens to die because they want the PR value. Hamas understands it cannot defeat Israel on the battlefield, nor on the economic field, or really any other field. The only way they win is because they want to flip the narrative and have the international community condemn Israel, and then Hamas wins. And the only way they do that is the kind of pictures you're seeing. You know, I think about these pictures, um, and then I think about the pictures from Gitmo, right? You know, the, 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 yeah. the terror, same thing, terrorists shackled, blindfolded, somewhere in earmuffs, on and on and on. And if you think back to that time, the coverage was kind of, well, kind of the same. Take a listen. All right, so uh, we there was this very similar coverage, right, right. Uh, of of how ter of how terrible everybody was treating the terrorists, and I'm wondering. It seems like we haven't learned anything. Yeah, you know, the whole point of this is that the Hamas and and their Iran masters and their Iran's proxies they want to make you hate Israel. This is anti-Semitic. It's anti-Israel. They're not going to be happy with. A peaceful hey, solution. KT, I'm just going to interrupt you for one second. I hear that we do have the sound. Take a listen. Ah, okay, good. A new U.N. investigation finds conditions inside the American prison at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, are cruel, inhuman, and degrading. They're charged with nothing. They're charged with absolutely nothing. Um, they are being held now under a designation of enemy combatant, uh, but they've never had a hearing even to determine if they're enemy combatants. I will tell you that... Um, my clients and the majority of the people in Guantanamo were not picked up on any battlefield. I guess this would be my question, right? And yes, being stripped to your underwear, having your hands tied behind your back uh, and blindfolded, that is degrading, okay? There's, there's no question about that. My question is, what else are you supposed to do and how else are you supposed to hold terrorists who want to kill you? Well, that's the whole point. They don't think these people are terrorists and they don't think that, I mean, their, their, their mindset, their whole way of looking at the world is Israel's bad. Anything Israel does, bad. Anything that Jews do, bad. This is the new anti-Semitism, whether it's on college campuses, whether it's in, you know, in the Middle East. I mean, whether it's Harvard, Penn, the University of Pennsylvania, or my alma mater, MIT, presidents sitting there in Congress testifying and refusing to condemn genocide. The world is flipped all around in Israel, sadly. You know, Israel is the one that's blamed for all this. I Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below. 
to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.